to thrive it's really wonderful to see you again isn't it blue that's right miss nick i feel really grateful to see you all again shall we do a check-in and see how we're all doing okay today's check-in is if you were a movie what movie would you be hmm having a think about that do you know blue what you would be well miss nick i'd be the film Dr. Doolittle, because it's full of all wonderful kinds of animals and it's all about kindness too. Oh, how lovely. What a great film. Hmm. I think that I would be that new film, Trolls, because it's all about accepting each other for all our differences and all our wonderful ways. Shall we find out what's going on today then, Blue? Fab. Well, today we have got a wonderful story about uh, a little girl who's got a worry monster. We've got a fantastic activity involving shaving foam and making some marbling prints. We've got Violet coming for a mindful moment. We have the Hula Hoop Challenge. And we've got a new friend coming to join us called Mulberry. You'll find out about that by making some rhythm and some music as well. So that's really exciting, isn't it? Shall we get on with it, Blue? I to say so, Miss Nick. To make marble messages, you will need paper, shaving foam, paints, a stick, a tray. Begin by squirting some shaving foam over the bottom of your tray. Then add some dots of coloured paint all over your shaving foam. Using your stick, swirl your paints to make a pattern. Then, taking a piece of paper, press it down gently over the foam. Lifting up the paper, you will see that the paint in the foam has transferred onto the paper. Using a stick or a ruler, scrape away the foam. Here's another one I did. The joyful thing about this activity is that when you finish with the foam, you can get your hands in there and have some really amazing sensory fun. When the paints dry, draw a shape on your paper. I chose to do a heart. Then cut your shape out. Be careful with the scissors or ask for adult help. Then, write a message for somebody on your paper. Leave your messages for someone to find. Ready for the hula hoop challenge then, Blue? Shall we take a look? Come on then, let's see. Everybody. Violet's here to see us again. Hi there, Violet. How are you doing? Oh, hello, everybody. It's really lovely to see you all again. I've been looking forward to this all day. So have we, haven't we? So, Violet, do you have a mindful moment or a breathing exercise for us to practice today? I do, Miss Nick. Today we're going to be practicing snake breathing. I'm really excited about this. I like doing the animal breathing exercises. I find them really useful. Wow, snake breathing. That sounds brilliant, doesn't it? Can't wait to find out what we need to do. Well, Miss Nick, you need to take a big long breathing in through your nose. You know I call that the inhale, don't I? So we've got to breathe in through our noses like this. Okay then, Violet, then what do we need to do? Then, when we breathe out through our mouths, we need to make a hissing sound like a snake. Oh, a hissing sound like a snake. Are you ready? Can we try this? Okay, so we're going to go in through our noses. And then as we breathe out, we're going to go. Is that right, Violet? That's perfect, Miss Nick. Didn't you all do well? 
thank you. So what I want you to do, Miss Nick, is I want you to do that three times. Can you do that for me? Oh yes, definitely. Are you ready? Join in with me then. So we're going to breathe in through our noses and then hiss out through our mouths. You ready? So we're going to go and then out with a hiss. And then in through our noses. And out with a hiss. And in through our noses. And out with a hiss. Wowzers. So doing our breathing exercises really helps to calm me down. Thank you. Honey. It always is so helpful to calm me down in my heart and in my body when we do those breathing exercises. They're really powerful, aren't they? That's right, Miss Nick. That's why I do my breathing exercises every day. Even when I'm not feeling worried or anxious or angry, I still practice them because they really, really help. Thanks, Violet. Will you come back and see us again? That's right, I'll be back tomorrow with another breathing exercise. I really like to introduce you all to Mulberry. This is Mulberry. Hi there, Mulberry, how are you doing? All right, Miss Nick, hello everybody, how are you all doing? So Mulberry has come to join us and tell us a little bit, Mulberry, what are you gonna be doing with us in our Thrive Sessions? Well, Miss Nick, I really love music. I'm all about rhythm and chanting. It's so good for you. It's so good for your brain. It's so good for your body. So I thought we'd do a bit of music in the sessions. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? I love music. So what are we going to be doing today then? Well, today I've got a very simple little song. It's a bit of a charm, bit of a song that I like to sing. It's all about how we calm ourselves down. And because when we're singing, it's that lovely way of breathing out, which calms our bodies down as well. Sounds amazing. So what do we need to do then, Mulberry? Well, the first line is, I can calm my heart. I can calm my heart, okay. And, uh, and what's going to happen is, you're going to sing it like this. I can calm my heart. Shall we try that? I can calm my heart. How was that, Mulberry? Oh, that was brilliant. Now, the second line goes, I can calm my head. So it's like this. I can calm my head. I can calm my head. Right. I can calm my head. I can calm my head. That's brilliant, Miss Nick. Now, the next lines go, I can calm me. And then you say it again, I can calm me to it. I can calm me, I can calm me. <clears throat> Let's try that. I can calm me, I can calm me. How's that, Mulberry? Oh, Miss Nick, that was brilliant. Can you put all three bits together then? Well, I'll have a go. I can calm my heart, I can calm my heart. I can calm my head, I can calm my head, I can calm me, I can calm me. How is that, Mulberry? Well, Miss Nick, you did a grand job. I hope everybody at home joined in too. I'm sure they did, Mulberry. Will you come and see us again soon, Mulberry? I will. Take care, everybody. It's Would You Rather time, Blue. Are you ready? You are. Today's Would You Rather question is, would you rather have really tiny hands or really massive feet? What do you reckon, Blue? Well, Miss Nick, I think I want really massive feet because I could go stomping round in them with them and uh, the wind wouldn't be blowing me over either. Yeah, big feet. Fantastic. Are you ready then, Blue? It's the last part of our session, okay? And it's time for our joke, because we do love to have a bit of a giggle, don't we? So today's joke is, how can you tell if the ocean is friendly? 
I don't know. How can you tell if the ocean's friendly, Miss Nick? Because it waves. <laughs> That's a great joke, Miss Nick. It was a funny one, wasn't it? And now it's time for us to say goodbye. We'll see you all really, really soon. Are you ready, Blue? Ready? Hoil thou! Thank you.